Hello everybody, it's Everalt Level 4 for the weekly update. Uh, first things first, this Thursday night at 6 p.m. Eastern, I think, uh, we're uh, around 6, 6 to 8-ish, we're going to be starting um, the Nintendo Project charity stream iCabathon. Uh, it's going to be a Pokemon charity marathon, I've mentioned this before. Um, it's going to be running... Uh, every day until Sunday evening and or Sunday afternoon uh, and uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun stuff we're raising money for um, Canadian blood services uh, in memory of our friend uh, uh, Icabagon Brian Frazier um, so be there it's gonna be fun there's a lot of people we're having special guests uh, so yeah I hope to see you there twitch.tv slash Nintendo Project. The link, as always, will be in the description. Follow the Twitter and everything if you want to stay informed. Um, that being said, this week, uh, this past week was an interesting week. <laughs> it was an interesting week. Um, there's... Uh, my my family has started to uh, to work on the new house now that we actually closed on it. Like we officially closed on the purchase of the new house, which means we could we could start going there and doing work and, and everything else because we couldn't do anything while it wasn't ours. So we finalized the purchase. We closed on it. It is ours now. Um, so we're just starting to clean it up now. Uh, it's been very interesting so far. Um, as you can see, I'm not there. Everyone else is is uh, doing painting today. Uh, I'm still recovering from spinal surgery, so I am dog sitting. That's my job. So, yeah. Uh, as such, I have a lot of free time alone, so uh, I actually did two streams last week. Two streams. Um, one was the regular time on Tuesday, which was uh, 4 to 8 Shibuya Scramble stream, I believe. Uh, which we got a lot more into the, the game. I'm very excited to play that more. Um, not this week, though. Uh, and also I did an impromptu Ocarina of Time randomizer stream where I almost destroyed my computer. We have to watch the stream to keep updated on that, I guess. Um, the VODs will go up eventually once I finish it. You know, it'll, I'll just edit it all together. It was a, it's a, it was a mess. It was the, the exact mess that an Ocarina of Time randomizer stream always is for me. Um, so, yeah, during my free time in the afternoons, I might continue that. Uh, as opposed to the Tuesday regular slot, which will probably be Animal Crossing this week. Um, one of those streams might actually be this afternoon, uh, if I don't decide to draw or do recording uh, for the week. I already have everything done for this week in terms of Dirge of Cerberus and uh, Trails in the Sky, so uh, I do have time for art and everything. Um, so yeah. Look forward to today, probably another Ocarina of Time randomizer stream while I'm striking while the iron's hot. And, um, yeah. I'm very excited for... I'm very very excited and very nervous for the upcoming for the upcoming uh, marathon. Um, I, have, I have my setup ready. I just need to troubleshoot a few things. Uh, I'm doing Pokemon Ranger as my regular thing. Um, for As for the Proton John block... Uh, I'm not sure what to. I, I am sure what to do. I just need to. I need to actually test it out more, to make sure what I'm doing and to see if it's viable. But um, it's not going to be like, ooh wow, amazing, crazy, because I'm not an ooh wow, amazing person. But at least I'm going to try something interesting. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a donation incentive for like, if you donate at least twenty dollars, you'll get into a raffle for. Um, a commission or something so you know that seems to have worked in other charity marathons before so I might do that again uh, I just need to make sure that I can um, see who actually donated uh, I need to check in with the the page and make sure that I can actually you know for all the people that that donate I need to be able to to know who did it so yeah that's gonna be my job this week uh, this past week, aside from that, we had uh, Dirt Cerberus going on. Uh, I recorded a lot in advance. Um, I'm up to chapter 8 now in the game. Uh, and so we have this week's worth of videos now. Uh, it's 12 episodes that I have recorded. 
So um, next week I'll have to do more, but that's a problem for later in the week, I think. Uh, this today, I think I'm just going to chill. Um, the let's see, and yeah, we had uh, the Shibuya Scramble stream. Uh, let's see what else happened last week. We had a uh, Nintendo Indie thing. We'll get to that. Um, I had a thread on Twitter of like uh, we we're going through my sister-in-law's grandparents. Like, uh, they, she had, like, a box of her, her grandparents' stuff that we were just keeping in the house, but now that we're moving, we have to clean stuff out, so we're going through it just to see if there's anything cool or whatever. I put a, um, uh, a Twitter thread of, of interesting things. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff from the late 1800s, early 1900s, um, and up to, like, the 1960s or so, um, and, uh... Just a lot of old things, a lot of interesting things. I, I salvaged a few, but most of that we're not going to be holding on to. But um, just like interesting books and tools and old things. And a set of handcuffs. <laughs> um, the, her grandfather was uh, was Moroccan, I think. So there's like a lot of French stuff there, which is very interesting. Um, so yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, da, 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 let's see what else. What else happened this week? I'm doing the look through Twitter thing. Um, <laughs> you ever have something that, like, you first discover for the first time, like a song or a meme or whatever, and it's not like an active meme. But, like, as soon as you see it, it starts appearing everywhere. Or, like, a word. A word you've never seen before. And all of a sudden, you just see it everywhere. Like, it's one of those, like, weird things that you're like, is this is this the show, you know, like, having a, a an arc in its in its programming or something? You know, the, the Truman Show type of thing going on with my life? Like, um, for me, it's um, Once in a Lifetime by the Talking Heads, which we've been talking about for a bunch of weeks already, but, like, I, um, I saw, like, a meme of it a while back, and then I, I, it got stuck in my head, and, um, I couldn't find it, and then, uh, Sigby helped me remember it, and then I started listen to it, listening to it a bunch, and it's a song from the 80s, and then all of a sudden I just started seeing people bringing it up, not connected to me, like, it was brought up on... Uh, like uh, the disc only, I think, and uh, NCS video, and like I keep seeing it on Twitter, like people referencing it, or at least like, like I have a thing here with with Jonathan Frakes from the um, from the uh, what was it, Factor Fiction show that he did, but he's in like the giant suit, which is from a different Talking Heads. Uh, music video has nothing to do with Once in a Lifetime, but it's Talking Heads, so the people associate it because there's like a Kermit the Frog thing with where he does Once in a Lifetime, but he's in the giant suit. But anyway, so it's a picture of him. He's like, have you ever found yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile? I'm like, what? Where is this coming from? Why is this a thing now? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those, it's one of those things that you look at, you're like, is this a global conspiracy? <laughs> Um, and it happens, it, it, that's not like the only thing, I can't think off the top of my head what the other, there's like a couple of things that, there's like songs that keep coming up from various places that I, I just heard on the radio that were old songs, or like, like, uh, references to games, like, um, like my brother, my brother was asking me the other day, is like, man, like, whatever happened to Pokemon Sleep? And I'm like, I don't know, they just, like, announced it a while ago. And then the next day, Chugga Conroy <laughs> was started talking about Pokemon Sleep. And we're like, I'm just looking at this, like, it's, it, the thing was announced two years ago. Why, why the next day did he, like, decide to start talking about it on Twitter after my brother completely unrelated? So, yeah, it's just weird. It's weird how things work like that, and I don't understand why or how but um I don't know uh let's see that Nia picture that I did for Chugga Conroy is like blowing up on DeviantArt which is kind of cool 
I didn't expect that at all, but apparently Niega has a huge fan base. <laughs> Um, is 34,000 views on DeviantArt, and there's DeviantArt's analytics are trash. I have no way to know where, why, how, anything to do with, you know, the reasoning. But, um, it's like I posted it on the Xenoblade Reddit, and, uh, and that got a, a decent bit of attention. I'm really happy about it, because I'm very proud of the, the thing, but, like, I was blown away. Like, I, I have no idea how, how... DeviantArt's uh, suggestion system works because like some of my stuff like, I look at it and it's like 4,000 views I'm like why and other things like 24 views I'm like why it's weird but anyway I don't know I don't understand um, uh, algorithms and analytics you should know that by now following my channel I have no concept of uh, marketing <laughs> And frankly, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. Whatever happens, happens. And it's a, it's a nice surprise if something good happens, and then I'm not let down if it it's static, you know? Um, it's like, I don't really care if my, if my uh, art gets, like, huge numbers, as long as the person I make it for likes it. You know, with, with uh, Patreon, I really... You know, I like promoting it just to, if I think like, hey, I, I want to retweet this because I think so-and-so might like to see it and I don't want to nudge them directly because I feel like that's annoying. But um, if the one who paid for it likes it, then that's cool <laughs> because they're getting their money's worth. So there was an indie showcase um, which showed a bunch of interesting things. Uh, there's a game called Road 96, which is like a multi-branching thing that's coming out this year. Um, Aerial Knights Never Yield, which looked interesting. There's a demo out for it. I didn't uh, try yet. Uh, Last Stop, which is a, um, an Annapurna game, you know, like the what happened to Edith Finch. I think they did that, right? And a game called Hindsight, uh, both coming out this year. One is coming out in July 21st. Um, Ali Ali World, which people were freaking out about because I know people like the Ali Ali series. So this one was a, another thing. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the Longing, where you're like a servant for a king, waiting for him to awaken after like 400 days or something. It, was, it looked very, very neat, actually. Um, there is no game, Wrong Dimension. I, I saw Markiplier play There Is No Game, and it looked really fun, actually. Um, it was very silly, and uh, I'm glad that's coming to Switch. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is coming out this year, which looks like it's a fantastic... TMNT beat him up in the style of like TMNT 4, which like, I really hope the game is as good as it looks Like, and it's not let down because I know a lot of people that would absolutely love that uh, a game called Chris Tales which is an RPG with like a time travel battle system, which looks really cool I really like the art style of that too um, Getsu Fumiden Undying Moon, which is coming out next year Aztec with a CH Forgotten Gods, which is like a, they called it a modern Mesoamerican um, uh, action adventure game or something. Uh, looked really cool. It was like Aztec, but tech, you know? You get it? It's the, the pun of the name. Uh, Skulls, S-K-U-L, the hero slayer, where you're like a grunt that goes around killing uh, heroes and fighting enemies to free your master and looked pretty fun. You have like a, a upgrade system by changing your head to various things. Uh, a game called Art of Rally, uh, Keyway, Labyrinth City, Weaving Tides, House of the Dead Remake is a, for the Switch. Ender Lilies, Beast of Moravia, Moravilla Island, uh, Fez. It's like, it's like a reel at the end. Um, and then finally they ended off, I'm like, okay, that's pretty neat. And then they ended off with one last thing. I was like, Oxen Free 2 Lost Signal. If you remember for for Halloween last year, I uh, streamed Oxen Free and I loved it. It was very cool. Uh, I'm really excited for a second one. It says it takes place five years after the first one, so I have to see because like the first one kind of ended off on a weird cliffhanger that I'm not going to spoil here, but it was kind of a cliffhanger, but not really. It was kind of a cliffhanger. Um, I have to see if it's still a cliffhanger if you get the best ending or not. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm really excited because it was a really, really good game. It was a really good game. 
Um, let's see, it was Bagel's birthday last week. Happy birthday, Bagel. Bagel a cat. Um, weird stuff in our house. Uh, I'm cleaning. Car slowing down in front of our house. I don't want to answer the door in the middle of the thing. Uh, I got another uh, Patreon piece drawn last week. I actually remembered to do the time lapse for this one as well. That's moments. Uh, so I'm very proud that I remembered to turn it on because <laughs> uh, I didn't for the previous one. Uh, yeah. So this Patreon thing was uh, Precipice Zach as Adel Kristen from Yeast, specifically Yeast 9, I think. Let's turn up the brightness a little. Um, so yeah, I really like really like how this came out. Um, I put a lot into it. I spent like all day on this one also. Or not all day, but a good chunk of the day on this. Several hours. Um, but yeah, uh, I really liked how it came out. And also... Um, Junibug um, showed off a concept idea of uh, Junibun, um, which is a rabbit OC version of herself or something. I'm not describing it well, but anyway, so I drew, I drew that too, in like a style of Sayaka from Danganronpa, because she likes Sayaka. So yeah, it was just a quick sketch, but I wanted to do something. I like when people show off. OCs and alt versions and stuff like that. I think it's cool. It deserves it deserves people paying attention to them in some way. Um, also, last week I got my jab, my first jab. Um, you can't see it on my arm because the needle is really tiny. But uh, Thursday I got my first uh, Moderna shot. Um, the area is not really sore actually anymore. Um, I felt icky on Friday and a little bit of Saturday. Mainly, there's like a little metallic-y taste in my mouth um, that's lingering, but that's about it right now. But um, when I... Uh, <laughs> the way I, I guess I could describe it is it was like a really, really, really light... Um, like feeling of of when I was on chemo, uh, aside from the nausea, there was no, I didn't have any nausea, um, which is great. But um, I, I just felt a little a little lightheaded, um, and you know just you know uh, very tired, um, and you know, just not much motivation to eat. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Not much motivation to eat or anything, but, um, I hate to say, I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm, I'm flexing, but I've, I've been through so much worse. Um, you know, it was, I was still functional for the day. I just didn't really want to do much, but, um, I've been through so much worse. Uh, so yeah, I, it was survivable without having, um, Nausea. That's like one of the hardest parts of chemotherapy. It's the nausea. Uh, let's see. Luka Jin showed off her new VTuber avatar, which was really cool. Uh, Ellie moved into my house, into one of my houses in Animal Crossing. I just let random chance happen, and um, that Ellie was from my brother's uh, town, so he he let her go like months ago, a very very long time ago. So she's just been sitting in limbo, the poor thing. Um, and that's about it. So, yeah. Um, once again, if you forgot, Charity Marathon this week. Um, we have, we have exciting stuff. We have exciting stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be a fun time. Uh, our fundraising goal is $2,001, I believe. Um, I think we could do it, 100%. And um, if you'd like to help, donate, you know, whatever, spread the word, you know, uh, on Twitter or Discord or whatever when the time comes, um, I will be very grateful for, to that, to you for that. Um, but yeah. 
Let's see, we're we're halfway through April already. It's kind of crazy. Pokemon Snap's coming out next week. Um, why don't we guys call Seam is coming up in two and a half weeks or something like that? I think it's two weeks after our thing. So like it's two and a half weeks. And um, yeah, fun times. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.